What are we doing today, guys? Well, there on the table in front of you, you can see my sea snake design. This is absolutely a self-serving video. I just wanted to take a look at it because people have asked me if I'm still happy with the artisan version of my custom knife, the sea snake. So let's turn it around and take a look at it from above and I'll tell you. Guys, like I said in the intro, we're gonna take another look at my sea snake design. I wanna talk about whether I'm still as pleased as I was with the production versions of my custom knife. So first things first, we're gonna get this one out of the way. We're gonna talk about the one that I carry all the time the production prototype. So this is the one I carry. This is the production prototype of my sea snake design. You can see that it has had a lot of wear and tear. I have done a lot of stuff with this knife. A lot of people complain about the AR PM9 steel. I'm here to tell you I love it. I would not have let them put this steel on my knife if I did not like it. So let's go ahead and we'll do some quick size comparison. First knife is going to be the Artisan Knives Andromeda designed by Ray Laconico and I wanted to do some size comparisons because if you haven't seen this knife before you may be surprised at how small of a fixed blade this is. So you can see good bit smaller than the Andromeda. Your next knife is going to be the Benchmade 940, another knife that everyone should have a good reference point on. Uh, you can see very, not a big knife at all. So your final knife is going to be as always the Chris Ree Sabenza Large 21. So you can see not a, not a large knife at all. And it was designed to be like that. So let's just get, get this out of the way. Let's talk about what I designed this knife to do and be used for and whether I'm still as happy with what Artisan is doing as I was when they first came out. All right, guys, I absolutely forgot to put a spec sheet. So there's going to be a spec sheet right here um, on this knife. So let's go ahead and talk about this knife. Now, I designed this when I started doing fixed blades. I had designed a drop point version of this. And the way I would design knives, I always want them to be ergonomic. So I basically would design a handle first and then make a blade for it. I've done that with all the knives that I've designed. Uh, there's two more designs that no one's seen yet. Um, and one that you know, a lot of people have heard me talk about that I'm trying to get released. But the point of this was to have a small fixed blade that you could use just like a regular folding knife in situations where you might not want a folding knife. A fixed blade is always going to be better. Um, I like to carry mine scout carry in this really good, the really, really good Kydex sheath that, that they did with these. And what it allows you to have is a small knife which is actually smaller than a lot of folders that you can utilize real easily if you're using gloves or if you're in a situation where you might not be able to manipulate a knife. I'm starting to develop carpal tunnel and I have nerve damage in my hand. I definitely see the value of a small fixed blade because I don't have to manipulate anything. There's days where my hand just does not want to do what I want to do. Uh, I designed it with several hand holds and I will tell you that it is an extremely comfortable knife. So let's Go ahead and take a look at it. So this knife is an ARPM 9 steel, G10 handles that they've done a really good job with uh, shadow boxing. They're not sharp, so you don't feel those points, but you can definitely see that you have that, that little polish, little pop on it around the angle. Really nice grind on all these knives that Artisan did. This was one of the production prototypes, and this was the one I tested. Uh, it was the first knife. I think this was the first or second knife that they released in AR PM9. I was one of the people that tested the steel, and I'm pretty impressed with it. In hand, they definitely nailed the way my customs felt. This is a one for one. If you were to have my custom version of this knife sitting next to it, you would look at it and say, holy crap, it's the same knife. The only difference between my customs and this is this one has some jimping on it. Um, you got a big full finger choil on the front. so. Back to the knife itself. I designed it to be a nice day-to-day -day user. I, I absolutely like the fact that you can do a lot of things with this knife that you can't do with a lot of other larger knives because I definitely wanted it to be nice and thin. I wanted it to be slicey and I wanted it to be something that you could use on a day-to-day -day basis. This is not your... This is not your outdoor knife. This is a fixed blade meant to replace a folding knife. So they did do a second version of this knife. This is the Blade Show exclusive. I have number one of 60. This is my personal one. This one's in S35BN. This was significantly more expensive. But if you did want an upgraded version of this knife, you can absolutely get it. They have Micarta Scales, S35BN Blade, the Titanium 
uh, bronze hardware, and it is just as comfortable. The micarta on these is great. This knife has never done anything. I've never owned a number one of any limited edition run, and the fact that it's in my knife is really special. So I made sure I grabbed number one of 60. So like I said, the good things about this, it's great. Now I have heard people complain that it's too thin and it, like I, I have not had those problems and it was designed to be thin. A lot of people complain that this is just like, well, this isn't an outdoor knife. I absolutely know that. If you want an outdoor knife, you can go pick up my uh, stonefish design. Hang on a second. We'll pull it in. This is a knife that I designed for an outdoor knife. This was not meant to be an outdoor knife. This is more of an outdoor style knife that you absolutely could carry. So this knife absolutely is basically a gentleman's folder done as a fixed blade. So am I still happy with it? Yes, absolutely. All of the versions of it I've seen that have come out from Artisan, I've seen a lot of people's that they carry. Um, they are all great. I have not seen a drop in the quality or anything like that. So we're in coming up on two years that this design has been out and it is still the ones that they're producing are everybody's good. This thing is still a great, great slicer. Um, as far as ARPM9, I don't think you're really going to run into problems with ARPM9. I've heard people complain about it, but I find it to be a very, very good steel. Now these aren't ground as thin as the the custom versions that I was making, but I will say that this thing is ground really well, fits the hand really well. So am I still happy with Artisan's take or Artisan's production versions of my custom? Yes, absolutely. Would I recommend it? Yeah, I really wish that more people would try these out because they would find that they have a much more comfortable carry, especially if you get the soft loops. Um, these don't come with soft loops. If you get soft loops, you can wear the scout carry on a pair of pants. If you work construction, it's perfect because if you're in gloves, if you're in gloves, I'm not going to lie. Sometimes it's a pain. I worked construction for a while. It's a pain if you're in thick gloves to manipulate that. And like I said, I'm starting to have problems with carpal tunnel and nerve damage in my hand. I can't manipulate knives as well as I used to or as I want to. So absolutely one of the best options for you is a small EDC fixed blade. And if you couple that with a small pry bar, that's done by my buddy Chris over at Cerberus Knives. You got the full package right there. You throw in a pocket flashlight and then you're just set with everything. So I'm just joking around, guys. I, I just wanted to touch on this. Um, a lot of people ask me how happy I am with Artisan's interpretation of my custom design. And I'm going to say I'm, I'm extremely happy. Same goes with how we did on my Stonefish. Uh, really, really good interpretations of my custom knives. So... Not a real long video, just wanted to touch on a couple of those things. Let's turn this back around and do some final thoughts and send you out about your day. So there you go, guys. Yeah, can not, not your average like review and cut test video where I talk about all the stuff and compare it to other knives and first impressions. No, this was just how well has Artisan been true to my concept and design? And I would like to say they've done a very, very good job. Uh, I would not have continued to allow them. I could terminate the contract anytime I want. I would not have allowed them to continue to make my design and put my name on it. I did not think they were doing a good job. So there you go, guys. That's that on this one. It's not a real long video compared to some of the others, but I just thought we'd address it because a lot of you have asked me about the sea snake design. And then again, there's a lot of you out there that may not know that that is my design. So that's it on this one, guys. If you like the videos, give them a thumbs up. If you don't like them, give them a thumbs down, but please try to tell me why. I can't change the content if you don't tell me what you don't like. If you want to support the channel, it's simple as like, share, subscribe, drop a comment, hit the bell icon. If you do hit the bell icon, make sure you set it to all and make sure you've got notifications turned on on your device. And once again, the likes are the best thing you can do for any channel. It helps push us up the algorithm. If you do like a video, absolutely click the like on it. If you've watched a video for more than 30 seconds and you haven't dropped a like or a dislike on it, you're doing the channels you love a disservice. Other ways you can do it if you want to support the channel financially, there are a ton of affiliate links down below. All of them support the channel directly. The Amazon ones do you can just use as a portal to my affiliate store. So if you can do any shopping on Amazon, please just grab it on my affiliate links, click on it, and then search for the items you're shopping for. Coffee Brand Coffee has a 5% discount if you use my affiliate link, or if you just go to the website and use the coupon code Crazy Sharp, all word capital C, capital S, Crazy Sharp saves you 5% at checkout for your coffee. 
Um, and the other way is you, I have got a membership that is tier based. All the members have access to my Gilded server, which is just like Discord. Baseline and premium tier members are automatically entered into giveaways that I do on the Gilded server. And the premium guys have access to a sharpening tutorial series here on YouTube behind a paywall. Guys, that's it on this one. If you love the videos, like I said, give them a thumbs up. If it's your birthday, happy birthday. I love you all and I'll see you in the next video.